controller's not plugged in. Right. There we go. <clears throat> oh, I can run. <laughs> ah, you too. Okay, so we're just gonna get started. Right on, Nuda. Ah, you too. Let me give you your assignment for today. Look up jobs on the bulletin board and the outlaw and the outlaw notice board. Do the list of jobs that'll do uh, that will do for today. Understood? No shirking your work, okay? Alright. Well if you understand, get on with it. Alright. Well, hello. Hoochie Enterprise, Team Hoochie. Stick to tracking outlaws. We chase and chase and chase our targets. Aw, cute. Rivals with the league for generations can't suddenly end like this. The league went missing this morning. So there's like two things that are missing a Lily. Hey Murdoch, hey Big Mac. Hey, Roxas. Uh, we'll just do the first one. Oh, you can accept more than one? Can I just like talk about Pokemon moves in the game considered spoilers? Um, we'll say yeah. Yeah, if I can just like. These are all suspended. I want to keep those though. Beach cave. Okay. there, huh? Hey, Dragonite. 
Hello, Manuel. Oh, there's not a lot in this cave, huh? Okay. Or on this floor, rather. You reached the destination floor. Okay. Wait, are you the lily? See you at the guild with your reward when you tur return. So yeah. Yeah, let's leave the dungeon now. Uh, yes. Alright, alright, I... I didn't get a, a lot of XP off of it, but that's perfectly fine, I don't... I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of other, uh, areas to get back. Or to get more XP. Thank you for rescuing Lily! To show my thanks, I wanna have you... I want you to have my white gummy! Alright, let's put in the storage. Crunch Crunch Choo Choo. Alright! Seven and a half minute stream, let's go! We're done! <laughs> <All right. laughs> Just making a joke about how each, uh, each mystery dungeon stream up to this point has been one, uh, one dungeon. Can I take more than one job? Oh, it's sick! Okay, I can. Oh, okay, so I should have... I should have stayed at Beach Cave. Good morning! Oh, hello. Today is Pokemon, yeah? Yeah, Mystery Dungeon. Yeah! The, advent the Adventures of Chicken and Cat. The Adventures of Spicy Chicken and Static Cat. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Wait, am I not sharing my screen? No. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> Can't see shit. Thank you, though. I had completely forgotten, because initially when I, uh, because I did initially turn on screen share, uh, but then I had to close the emulator because, uh, my controller wasn't plugged in. Smooth. Because I had, because I had unplugged it, uh, trying to get my, um, currently dead, uh, hard drive working. Oh, yeah, that's right. I saw that. Yeah, uh, years worth of fucking archives are currently in limbo right now. Uh, I've got a couple of potential fixes coming in the mail today. So, fingers crossed. I hope so. Yeah, I, uh, over the past couple of days, I've just been learning about more and more things that are on that hard drive that I can't fucking get to. <laughs> That's the worst, I, is when you- when something breaks and you don't realize how reliant you are on it until it breaks. Yeah. I have that happen with tech all the time, that fucking sucks.
I've never played I've never Mystery played Dungeon before, so... Uh, Big Night Dad was asking, we ever had ramen for breakfast? I, Big Night, I don't even have ramen for lunch. I've never, I can comfortably tell you I've never had, like, good ramen. Like, the fancy kind. I have, in fact, uh, made, like, 99 cent, like, hop ramen for, for breakfast a couple of times. I didn't have to today, because I had fucking danishes, baby. I just popped in some, like, sausage biscuits into the microwave for, like, 50 seconds, and then that was about it for me. <laughs> fucking lived for, like, a good jelly-filled pastry. One of my favorite things to have for breakfast. What? Brooks, what Brooks says I should be eating protein because it's better for me. Because it's better to help with your depression. Me, 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 me. Sugar. <laughs> yeah. Eat ramen from restaurants. I wish if there was a place where I could get it within a within a reasonable drive, I would. I have not, uh, I've had ramen, like, maybe once in my life, and then didn't like it, and then never had it again. Mm. <laughs> I had duck soup from a really fancy Chinese place in D.C. once, and I, I think about that every so often. <laughs> that is the fanciest uh, Chinese meal I think I've Hope you've got stuff backed up. My DM lost all of his Ravnica notes from hard drive issues. Files got corrupted, so we had to put the game on hold while he rewrites everything. Jesus! Woof! I cannot fucking Im Oh god, I felt that. The idea of losing all of your campaign notes. Ooh, that's why I store them on stuff like uh, OneNote, is so that if my computer borks, then I still have them. Fuck. Uh, yeah. for my playthrough of- worst Oh, go part... ahead, sorry. I was about to say, the worst part for me is, uh, if- if I can't get back everything, um, that's it for a lot of what I had. Because I had, um, there, there's a ton of videos on there that, like, don't exist anymore. Just flat out don't exist anymore. <laughs> um, Oh, yeah, I that's right, because- because it was your archive been, for deleted videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've been meaning to archive them for, like, a while. And I put it off, and now they're potentially gone forever. Um, uh, I had everyone's uh, avatar sets on, the, uh, on there. Uh, I might not have those anymore, so that's unfortunate. Um... I have, as well as just any previous avatar sets that I had, including, like, a, quite a few characters that I had never even got a chance to use in video. Um, there's a lot of important screenshots and important documents on there that just no longer, like, I can no longer uh, access if this doesn't work. Um, well, here's hoping, hey? A lot hey? on there. Yeah. Literal, like, worst case scenario is that it doesn't, and that I, I just lose years worth of everything. Like, it's even got some, uh, so you know, like, in some of my, uh, how in some of my commentaries I had used, like, old Minecraft footage, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Um,. Yeah, so those were all on there, too. Uh, I can't get those back. Those are just not uploaded anywhere, and I can't really archive those because those are full of copyright music. So... Yes. Well, yeah, here's hoping. A lot of sen yeah, there's a lot of sentimental value on that. Uh... I will... Goku-style send you my energy. That's all I can do. 
because touching technology makes it burst into flames for me, so. It's possible if, like, both plan A and plan B don't work, I could take it to somewhere to get it fixed. Because there are places that do that. Problem is, is that's an upward of a thousand dollars. I was gonna say, I had to do that um, with mine and it was expensive. Yeah, so... That's also not ideal. We can only hope. I've never played Pokemon Mystery Dungeon before. This looks really cute. It seems to be a very roguelike, um... Dungeon crawl. Well, actually, I don't know if it's roguelike or roguelite. I get those terms confused a lot. <laughs> but there is a difference. For those who do not know. I'd imagine roguelite is that you, like, don't lose your shit when you die? As I said, I don't exactly remember all- I don't remember the difference entirely. Oh, Ladrid needs my help with something too. <laughs> it is good, and I like it. Diglett, I brought them. Thank you, Ladrid. You two are doing sentry duty today. Sorry, I'm usually one to do sentry duty, but today my dad gave me his duty of updating the boards. That's why I can't man my post. It'd be great if someone could take over my sentry duty for today. And that's why you're here. Please do a good job for me. Bye. Bye, Diglett. <laughs> you say his dad? And that's... Yay. I'd imagine that's a duck trio. His dad. <laughs> and that's that. I didn't follow... Huh? I didn't follow that at all. Why are we involved in this? Shut your yeah. No more belly aching. Go do your duty. My head is pounding. <laughs> oh, poor Sharky. Why he's so loud? Why do he yell? Put him down this door on sentry duty. Sentry duty? You heard right. Sentry duty. We can't have suspicious characters coming into the guild. So we stationed a sentry below the guild entrance to uh, evaluate Pokemon visitors. When you first came, you had your footprint... Footprint evaluated, right? My footprint? What do you... Oh, we've done this already. Let's dig this body, like, underground. I just imagine it, like, he's got, like, little stubby arms with, like, claws, and then, like, little stubby feet. I like that one. Uh, over the alternative, a very big buff man. <laughs> I like the buff one because I think it's funnier. And no, it's it's hilarious. But it, like realistically, I I think it's like the little. I think he's like a little little stub. You know. Oh yeah, realistically, he's probably more like a mole. Like, he's, like he's little... probably just got little little footers, little 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 tiny scratchy footers. But like, the mental image of you pull okay. Diglett out of the <laughs> ground. And it's just a fucking, like... JoJo character. Yeah, effectively, <laughs> it's way funnier. Oh no, it's absolutely funnier. But, you know, realistically, I think, he's, little, he's a little guy. <laughs> yeah. Another game right now, it's a massive dungeon crawl type of thing called Rough on a Thook. Haven't gotten to the actual dungeon the campaign is named after yet. Gonna start next session by fighting zombies. Hell yeah, I hope you have a cleric, because radiant damage is the best way to deal with zombies. Fun fact. Oh, by the way, um, I don't know if you saw it, but, uh, there was a slight rescheduling, so I had my run earlier. 
Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Doug Trio is a different JoJo character with more heads on it. Come on, Big Mac, keep up! No, <laughs> have you not seen the image where it's just three, like, JoJo characters all brushed up upon each other? I like the idea that Doug Trio <laughs> is, like, it's one body, but, like, there's the central head on the shoulders, like, on, on the neck, and then there's the other two heads are just on the shoulders. <laughs> I stood on the grating when someone chatted up at me. It was startling. Okay, so you want us to climb down this hole and then... Tunnel down there leads to the sentry's post. Okay. So we just stare at people's feet all day. Not the most, uh... Not the most enticing of jobs, is it? Not unless you're entitled. I guess. Diglett burrows through it and pops out underneath the sentry post. <laughs> From the sentry post, Diglett inspects the footprints of visitors, identifies them, then informs me. Then I decide if the Pokemon is suspicious or not and open the gate if he passes muster. So we serve as the guild's gatekeepers. That's the gist of it. That's well, like I... gatekeep girl boss. Gatekeep girl boss, you're crazy. There's not another. There's not another what's the, what's the third G one? There isn't one. You're crazy. <laughs> Look, all you have to do is inspect the footprints of visitors and tell me what Pokemon they are. All right, understood? Uh, sure. Good, let's get to work. Buckle up and do a good job. All right. Pitch black in here, Susie. We'll have to feel our way. Oh, we should be getting close to the sentry post. Is you a fucking fire type? Can't you just... ember up a fucking... some light? Probably. Oh, there. I see light, Susie. How's it going? Have you taken position at the sentry post? Yeah, we're in position. Good. Pokemon visitors will step into the grill above the sentry post. Identify them by footprint, then inform me. Got it? Yes, understood. Let's get started. Alright. Oh, there's a time limit. Oh, fuck. Look at the footprint on the top screen, okay? And then identify the Pokemon. You can only get two wrong, okay? Sparky will keep an eye on things. Here comes a Pokemon. Check its footprint and tell me what it is. Infernape? Gotta be Infernape, right? Yep. Looks like you're right. Here comes a Pokemon. Okay. Uh... Oh, Tweetway. No? Oh. Fampy. Fampy? Yeah, Fampy. Because he he's got the little toes in front. It was either that or Turtwig, because they're both very similar feet. Gotta be ninja esque, right? Yes, I'm guessing, yeah. Yeah, gotta be. <clears throat> uh. Bull types? Yeah, gotta be. Because they aren't, they're, they're, it's the only one with paws. Oh. Uh. This could be any of them. Fuck. Uh. Turtwig. <sighs> Alright. Oh, that's. Delcaddy? Yeah, Delcaddy. They're, they're, like, when it's just a fucking circle, it's so hard. <laughs> it's super tough. Ah. You worked an honest day, you two. Let me review your sentry duty performance. Wow, wow. Your results were completely perfect. Was it? Fucked up, like, what, twice? 
Yeah, but you didn't run out of time and they didn't go in with the wrong assessment, so I think that means that that was all it wanted. I guess. You did it. We'll reward your effort. Generously, I might add. You all deserve an especially large reward. 500? In addition, the, te the team also uh, received a joy seed. But a seed was sent to storage. Not only that, the team also received a, a ginseng, whatever that is. Ginseng. Well, that's not the end of it. The team also received a life seed, which was also sent to storage. <laughs> so many rewards, can you believe it? Keep up the good work. No! <clears throat> You have the ability to do radiant damage, just not the ability to make them scared of me. Ah, are you a pally as well? No turn undead for you! Be high enough level, you can just hit a button and they will die instantly. Uh... Oh no! Teeth Luthan, Tempest Cleric, Storm Sorcerer. I don't have channel divinity yet. One cleric, two sword. Ah! Oh, so you guys are still low level. Wait, of course you'd be low level. You're fighting zombies. Why the fuck did I- Why the fuck did I say that? Uh... Word of advice. Be careful if you ever need seedless strawberry jelly. Apparently some taste funny. Really funny. That happened to me! I had, uh... There were some in the house. Uh and I was going to I was gonna make myself a sandwich and it was atrocious. Would you eat Togepi? Uh I wouldn't, baby. That would depend on if Togepi actually tasted like eggs. Room. That's a very- that's a very big assumption. I would presume the egg taste would go away. Yeah, by the time it's a togepi, probably. Started level two. Okay. I wish you good luck in your campaigning adventure, sir. Beach cave, beach cave, beach cave. Actually, let's look at the job bulletin board. Are there any more in beach cave? Uh, nope. What's up, Edu? Oh, I got an exploration with Sunflora, but... Oof. Oof, I tell ya. I'm feeling less than mighty confident. Alright. Beach cave it is. Sunflora says, I don't trust this joker with fuck all! <laughs> It's uh, looks so funny. Shelter attacks you, no damage you. Just punt him and he just dies instantly. Alright. Come out. Brutal. 24 <laughs> polka dollars. Reach destination point. Oh, 
Oh, his yeah. character is supposed to be taller than her, but I'm gonna say that he's not. Wait, what? I'm I'm working on some sketches for my own stream in the background, and one of the characters I'm drawing for the Valentine's Day stream is uh I don't know if he's supposed to be taller than his I wanna say girlfriend, but the answer is friends with benefits. Uh so I don't know if he's taller than her, if he's supposed to be, but Crafty's not online, so I'm gonna do some intuiting and say that he's not, because it would be funnier if he wasn't. Yeah, I uploaded- or I, uh, had uploaded my Valentine's, uh, tradition, I guess, at this point. I saw! They're so cute. I'm happy for them. I also had posted, uh, Sugar's pre-story doodle a day. That kind of mathed out really well, didn't it? Because Sugar's kind of Valentine's Day colors. It- yeah. It kind of did. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I had one level in each, kind of messed up, meant to level up in Cleric first so I could maximize Thunder and Lightning damage in Ravdica campaign I'm playing Pally Barb right now. Two Barb, one pa- Two... Oh, Pally 2, Barb 1. Planned build is Vengeance, Pally Zealot Barb. That's great! Uh, friendly reminder, in case you ever forget, uh, you can't use things like Branding Smite when you're raging, because they require that you maintain concentration. However, comma, your regular, uh, vanilla Divine Smites are in fact a class ability. They don't require, uh, concentration. You can use them while raging and compound off of your rage damage. Remember that. Because I did that as well, and it's... You can... You can... Palimarb is... You can get some... Scary damage at later levels. I don't tend to multi-class often, though. Only class for the hot for the first time in a hot minute during craft D and D. And Forge Cleric Armorer Artificer gives you some some good spicy shit. My AC will be twenty five. I will have the same armor class as a dragon by the end of uh by the end of this fucking campaign. goal is to summon a hundred things and be then impossible for you to hit so that they can stay on the board. That's how that works. My build is based on the, uh, the two most important words in Dungeons & Dragons combat. Action, economy. You get Sparky no matter what, or can you get other partners? You can choose- uh, you basically choose what your partner is. But since, uh, I can't be a Shinx, I'll have a Shinx as my partner. <laughs> Shinx your favorite Pokémon? Uh, Luxray's my favorite Pokémon. Ah! The problem is, is Shinx is behind- or is locked behind, uh, identifying as male in this game, so... Which is bullshit! bullshit. <clears throat> gender- so, fucking- uh, fuck- Joe Cat posted it the other day. Is fuck gender-locked classes in RPGs. Fuck that shit. So yeah, I was not able to be a Shinx. Unfucking believable Ah! 
That's so stupid. Why would it be... Why would Pokemon uh, types be gender locked? Cause, oh, I get this. Um, cause you know, uh, as a female, you can be a skitty. What? <laughs> That's fucking bullshit. <laughs> I agree. If I can't play as Totodile, what's the fucking point? Uh, I don't think Totodile is locked behind gender. There's at least, like, two on both sides that are locked behind gender. Uh, I don't remember what the other one was, but I remember looking it up and Shinx was locked exclusively to male, with Skitty being the replacement for females. And that made me so angry. <laughs> Reasonably fucking so, I think. Unfucking believable. How regressive of you, Pokemon. I mean, it's by the same people who went on to make Dang uh, and Rafa, so are we really surprised? <laughs> this was made by Spike Chunsoft. <laughs> What? <laughs> that jumps off the beginning of the game when you uh, when you open it. I wasn't here for that part. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I did not know that. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> I was apparently stopped in the forest. Okay, I should have been reading this. <laughs> what did, what you, did say? you say? <laughs> You're saying time stopped? Hey, hey, hey! Yes, that's correct. Time has come to a standstill in the tree shroud forest. The wind has stopped, the clouds are motionless. Dew drops on leaves won't fall, they just hang there, suspended. Tree shout forest, time itself is truly stopped. That's gotta be weird to see though. Okiwa Tomaru. Could you imagine like actually seeing time stop? No, that I can't. Look that would really weird. <laughs> NGL, I think what is Heaton's catchphrase? <laughs> I learn new things every time I stream, either myself or with friends. Yeah. Yeah, this game is a Chunsoft game. Uh, it's kind Wild. of funny to think about it that way. It, it is! Um, it's really weird. No, to me it's funny because uh, knowing how Danganronpa 2 starts with, like, uh, with, with Nagito looking over you like, Hey, are you okay? Uh, and then seeing that exact parallel in this game, where you wake up on a beach with your partner going, Hey, are you okay? <laughs> it's really funny. One of my fucking- At least it was to me. One of my fucking <laughs> absolute favorites is, uh, I saw an image that I cannot get over, um, that's the... Uh, it's Nagito... I, I don't know some of the others, but it's Nagito, it's Krom and Lisa. Like, it's just a bunch of characters from games that open up that way, all looking over you at once. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Better places, better places to sleep than on the ground, you know. <laughs> In Tree Shot Forest, time has stopped. It's truly stopped. Uh, time has stopped? Flora. But how could something this awful happen? It's unthinkable. Yes, the unthinkable has happened. Why time has stopped, or why time has stopped in the tree shot forest? Well, it's because tree shot forest's time gear was stolen. Oh. Uh? The time gear was stolen. What, that's what made time stop? Hey, hey, hey! Oh no, you're gonna be... 
I don't like Corfish. I... Mmm... I don't like that. <laughs> hey, hey, hey at the end of every sentence. That's hey, so, hey, hey. <laughs> so annoying. I hate that already. I uh, heard it was possible. Have... But now it's really happened. I don't get it, though. Why would anyone take a time gear? Quiet, everyone. Officer Magnazone has already started an investigation. It's hard to believe that anyone would dare steal a time gear, but if one time gear can be stolen, the others may also be in danger. The officer asked to be notified immediately if we notice any suspicious characters, so keep that in mind. Let us know if you notice anything. That is all. Alright, everyone. Here's to another busy day of work. Hooray! So we're just gonna ignore how that... We're just gonna... Okay. Well, until we know who took it, there's really nothing we can do. I guess. You've become quite good at your work. I'm impressed with your capture of Drowsy. That was very admirable. So, you all will finally be assigned a mission worthy of a proper exploration team. Really? Hooray! Let's see what you want. Uh, let me see your wonder map. Treasure Town is here. And over here is where we would like you to investigate. See, there is a waterfall flowing here. By all appearances, it's just an ordinary waterfall. But we've received intelligence that the waterfall may conceal a secret. And that's where you come in. We want you, to, we want you lot to investigate the waterfall and determine what's there. That's all. Do you understand what this mission entails? Uh, sure. Good. Alright, I'll leave you all to thoroughly investigate the waterfall. What's wrong? You're shivery. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. It's just the anticipation that's making me nervous. This will be the first time we get to do a real job as an exploration team. I'm feeling a little worked up. Okay, uh, I feel like I'm gonna burst from excitement. Let's do our best. I am a chicken. <laughs> I'm gonna burst from anticipation! I'm so nervous! Let's do our best! I am a chicken. <laughs> Terbeko. Oh, Susie and Sparky too. Uh huh. What's Terbeko doing there? Hello. What's going on here? Well, I just started an assembly here today, in fact. Assembly? Yes. For assembling your team. Have you ever considered adding members, Sparky? Other members? Well, sure. It'd be cool to add other members. If there were more than just the two of us, sure would help when we explore dungeons. Well then, you need to start recruiting new members. Well, how do we start? I'll just ring the friendship bell for you, Team B. Yeah, by the way, you get to name your team. I named mine Team B. Why? Because <laughs> it's a really funny name. <laughs> we are the B team. Team B. Here goes. Hey, yeah! The friendship bell is just Chai Echo. I love he that. Just he just ring himself. <laughs> now Team B has the power to recruit new members. Really? Yes. From now on, while battling Pokemon in dungeons, you may earn respect from some of them. And those Pokemon will then ask to join Team B. Once you've recruited a Pokemon, you can bring it along with you on dungeon explorations. To bring a Pokemon along, visit my assembly, and choose which members should join your team for the exploration. Always see me when you want to assemble a team that includes recruits! Oh wow, thanks Tribeca. Alright, what you doing here, Beedoof? Can I not, can I not speak to you? Huh? Yeah. Well, I've been assigned to investigate the waterfall! 
It'll be your first exploration. I'm pulling for you to succeed, my gosh. Now all of you dig into that challenge really hard now. Aw, can't recruit Bidu. Unfortunate, man. Oh my god. That's slow poke. Team Slacker with zero motivation exploration team. A mood, TBH. Exploring is too much at first. <laughs> I love Bidu. Rel relatable content. <laughs> I love those too. Uh that was me yesterday. Listen, man, sometimes the brain power is at fucking zero, and it's just it it's just easier to just not. Today I have decided to don't. <laughs> What's going on? Alright, what is going on? Question. Oh, there's a hole. There's stairs here. Something written on the sign. I can't fucking read. Spinda's Cafe, a shop of hopes and dreams, opening soon, win big. It says. A new shop will be opening soon. But hopes and dreams? Wonder what kind of shop this will be. Let's come back after it's open and find out. It sounds like a casino, if you ask me. Spinda wants to know if you want to be a big shot. <laughs> you know what? Maybe it's fitting that Luxter has his, like... Uh, his Cloud Palace presence just... Spinda. It's true. Have you considered wanting to be a big shot? So this is the waterfall that supposedly has a secret. <sighs> that water's coming down hard. Try getting close to the waterfall, Susie. I am a chicken. It's true. This is incredible. I can barely stay standing near this deluge. I'm also a fire chicken. <laughs> hey, I know you're a fire po- Hey, I know you're a fire Pokemon, but, you know, just stick your head in there. What could possibly go wrong? Waterfall isn't super effective on you. See? It's intense. If you were to fall under this waterfall, you'd probably be battered. I'd be dead. I didn't think it would be I am a down. chicken. I am a chicken. I am also a fire chicken. I didn't think it would be pouring down this powerfully. Where should we even start looking? Hmm. Something seems familiar. A dizziness I felt before. My favorite enemy is kicking in. Is that Whitley Cup? I was about to say, I feel like that's either a cloister or a wigglytuff. Happened again. I saw something, but what did I see? What's the matter, Susie? What? You had another vision? This time you saw a lone Pokemon leap into this waterfall? But not only that, there's a hidden cave behind the waterfall? Hmm. It looks like that water is coming down really heavily. Imagine if there was actually a solid cliff behind that waterfall. Ouch. If I tried to jump through, we'd be pounded badly. So, what do you think? Is there really something behind this waterfall? Are you really convinced that there's a cave there? I am a chicken. <laughs> I love the... Where should we start looking? I do not know, <laughs> do not know as I am a chicken. <laughs> and it's been... That has been my character throughout, like, this playthrough. It's just, I am a chicken. I am a chicken. It's either I am a chicken or I am a bird. <laughs> I am a bird. Okay, I'm putting my faith in you. Yes, I totally believe in you. Okay, I gotta be brave now. If I get scared and I fail to leap through at full speed, I'll be smushed no matter what I do. If I'm doing it, I have to do it without hesitating. Be brave. Be the bravest ever. Let's go. Three, two, one. Man, I can't believe Sparky's fucking dead. <laughs> What is this? Yes, 
it is a cave. You were right after all. Let's go explore this cave, Susie. See what secrets it holds. <clears throat> all right. I'm a chicken. It's the same energy, I guess. Music here is pretty, uh, pretty eerie. Actually, why can't I swim in water as a as a fire chicken? Cause it's not like I'm um, it's not like I'm Charmander who dies if its tail is extinguished. I am just a chicken that can breathe fire. I wonder what the biology is with that. I don't know. Can chicken float? Can chicken float, indeed. I don't know. Does chicken is float? <gasps> Wooper! <laughs> Wooper! Hello. Hello, friend. Can I... Recruitment search. Potential recruits. Yellow already befriended. <gasps> I can recruit the Wooper! How do I do? Recruit the looper! How do? I just... Hmm. Good, I can get these. It didn't seem to work. That's what I do. Can chicken float? You will say yes? You say yes. Well, real chickens can, yeah. Floating on water kills chicken. Well, yeah, because their uh, their bodies can't get uh, as wet because they don't have the stuff that repels the water. It makes their feathers heavy, and it causes uh, problems and sickness. I hope I remember. This is what happens. Look at the fucking mail again so I can remember what the address is. Wait, what? Just fuck that up, Jesus. I know, slow too. Yeah! Most things that live in the... on the savannah kinda have to, because swimming is the easiest way for them to get cool.
There's a theory going around that the T-Rex had wings, not tiny arms. I think it's a possibility. I like the idea that they were like big round borbs. <laughs> Eat it, that. Quick shipping, my fucking pen nib is on its last goddamn legs. <clears throat> uh, actually, uh, completely unrelated. Um, just something that, like, just a random floating, I, uh, like, thought that popped in my head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh, I noticed a tweet this morning. On, uh, on the last time that I, I ranted about how, like, oh, uh, YouTube is doing NFTs and shit. Mm -hmm. Um, I saw, because I recommended the Folding Ideas video, uh, and I saw, I guess, an NFT, uh, shill just in my, uh, my replies going, oh, all you NFT haters have is that stupid video, and I'm just like, Tell me you've never heard anyone criticize NFTs without telling me you've never heard someone criticize NFTs. See, like, th this is my favorite. It's like, well, all you have is that one video. D yeah, because it does a real thorough job. It's almost like it's two hours long. Well, it's also the fact that it's like, he doesn't, or it's like, Fully Ideas doesn't even go over the environmental problems that uh, NFTs have. Uh, he doesn't go over the rampant art theft. Uh, at most, he just explains how it's a giant pyramid scheme, uh, and talks about how, like, oh, the only reason people, uh, you know, shill NFTs is to make, you know, their, their crypto more valuable than it is. So he only brings up one issue, whereas people have been complaining about shit regarding NFTs for months. So what do you mean we only have that one video? The other Clearly. thing too that, that fucking gets me is that uh like oh it'll be better for it'll be better for artists, you know it'll be better and I just respond every single time with the link to the tweet of Ponder talking about her art getting fucking stolen. <laughs> Just being like, uh, my friend had her art stolen to be turned into NFTs, so. No, it's not. Uh, I've all, I have heard a counter-argument to that, where it's like, oh, uh, the artists them sh themselves should, like, get into NFTs because it's good for artists then, but, like, how is it no, any different than commissions? Listen, it's if a like suspiciously wealthy furry wants to pay me several hundred dollars 
to draw his wolf fursona's feet. That's a more reliable source of income than your fictional monopoly money. That I'll take the wealthy value. furry's feet. I was about to say, that could lose value, like, instantly, and has lost value several times over. Yeah, like, it's more... I am more stable because money has intrinsic value. Your dumb fucking Dogecoin does not. I will not accept payments in Ethereum. You cannot turn my art into NFTs. It's becoming part of my... I'm updating my commission terms and service for when I open them again, and... No. We have a Tangula following us. Look at him. He's a big boy. He's a very big boy. Dawn's on me in this instant that I don't think I've ever drawn this character without her coat on. I think this will be the first time. Yeah. <clears throat> Like, NFTs are fucking lame in this SAI. Won't. That's it. That's the whole discussion. NFTs are fucking lame. <laughs> mm. Oh, we were also talking about this yesterday. Uh, so for, for chat, uh, here's, here's a word of advice. For all the, uh, for all the the lovely uh, femme nerds in uh, Susie's chat. Here's here's a here's a little piece of advice for you. Here's something you should do. When uh, gatekeeper nerd bros do the like, I bet you don't know who this character is. Blah blah blah. Name X amount of characters. Just spoil something. Just say a spoiler. Just do it. Like just fucking. Look them, look, like, if you're wearing, if, if you're wearing, like, a Fight Club shirt, and he's like, I bet you've never seen that movie, you just look him dead in the eyes, and you go, he was Tyler Durden the whole time. Fuck you. Eat my dick. Like, just, like, j truly, because I think that, like, like, especially... Because uh, there was one for uh, Jujutsu Kaisen that I saw, and I'm not going to say it because I don't want to spoil JJK for the people in Susie's chat who are uh, watching the anime. But this dude was like, oh, I bet you only know who Gojo is, but you don't know who any of these other characters are. And it's like, just say a spoiler from the Shibuya arc. Just do it. Just ruin this man's day. That's the way- that's the way that we should be handling it from now on. Just say a fucking spoiler for anime only is. Tell them how Attack on Titan ends. Just fucking do it. That's- that's the kill switch at this point. Fuck them. If- if they want to be disrespectful, now they know that Rosebud- Buzz is- bleh, Rosebud is the sled. Fuck them. Come on, Sparky. Get on the- get on the fucking platform, Sparky. There we go. I'll just go further than them. Oh yeah, what was the color of the first pixel of the first Star Wars movie? And have you, and you have to figure out if I mean the original trilogy or not. <laughs> That's funny. That's a, that's a good one. But no, I... I the, uh, the spoiling thing, that's definitely a kill shot. I'll never- one of my favorite instances of that, of, like, a gatekeeper nerd bro getting completely fucking destroyed, was, um, during- I remember I saw a tweet from a woman, uh, was it a tweet or was it a- 
No, it was a tweet, because she had uh, pictures of it. She was wearing a Darksiders 3 t-shirt, and some guy walked up to her and was like, I bet you've never even played that game, blah, blah, blah. And she just looks at him. She helped write it. She was at the restaurant for a business meeting. Her boss was, like, right there. So she just looked at him and was like, I wrote, I wrote the, I wrote the script. That's me. <laughs> and it's just, it's absolute fucking artwork. You love to see it. Could you imagine writing someone and then have someone try to or writing something and then have someone try to gatekeep you from the thing that you wrote? Oh god! Oh, did I tell you the Neil Gaiman story? <laughs> That's the best one. Fucking Neil Gaiman, the Neil Gaiman was. I was so glad I was following him on Twitter for this because I got to watwatch this interaction happen live. Uh, oh, that's great. He he had retweeted. He'd quote retweeted somebody, I don't remember who it was, but somebody in the games industry, or in the comics industry, who was talking about how one of the things uh, that was holding comics back is the fact that the major houses refuse to really hire any new talent. And that because of that, you're getting a lot of samey stories and it's making things a little more difficult. That if they want to write new stories with new characters, they should start hiring new talent, right? Mm -hmm. Totally a justifiable thing to do. And Neil Gaiman uh, quote retweeted it and agreed. He co-signed that. And he said, I agree with that 100%. I feel like new voices will help uh, solve a lot of the problems that the industry is having right now, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. And somebody replied to his tweet basically calling him a hypocrite because he was like an established author when Sandman got published. And he just responded with, no, no, I wasn't. Uh, like, I had published a couple of short stories beforehand, but I hadn't, I hadn't published, uh, I hadn't published any, like, mainstream popular work yet. I, I didn't start working with Terry until later for stuff like Good Omens, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. And they, they cited his Wikipedia page? And he responded with, I still remember standing in my kitchen on the phone with my wife when I got the call back from DC Comics. Don't cite my Wikipedia page at me. <laughs> like, fucking, this absolute fucking dipshit actually was like, uh, um, actually, I know your life better than you do. I just saw a fucking, the audacity of some people. My god, why am I just missing everything? This is bullshit. Morning, Ollie. Hello, hey. I'm gonna fucking explode. Well, don't do that. Well, in order to, to keep me from exploding, there's one thing you need to do, Heaton. Hmm. We need to play Fury again. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm I'm ninety nine percent sure um, you can do uh, invincible mode against Wait, the two. Tangela, oh. where are you going? Tangela, what are you doing? <laughs> Angela. What were you doing? I committed aggravated assault for you! Yeah. What are you doing? 
What are you doing? That whooper needed to die. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Tangela's HP is not changing. Yeah, apparently. Oh, I think Ingrain grounds it to one spot. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Which one's the real one? Oh, well. Now we don't have to worry. Hello, Fred. Use a bubble. Holy fuck, I leveled up. I just looked at your chat and I saw, oh, I just recently learned who Yuri Lowenthal is. You just recently learned who every single twink is? The twink. The alpha twink, if you will. And then who's the omega twink? Troy Baker? <laughs> Why did my brain immediately supply Dan Southler? Well, because he's the Alpha and the Omega. Where's his dad energy now? Who is who is Badman's VA in son? It is Yuri Lowenthal. That's <laughs> fucked up. Because <laughs> I forgot who. I think it was Khalil. It was like, goddamn fucking Yuri Lowenthal being every twink in every game. And I'm like, is he Badman? And he's like, he's fucking Badman. And I'm like, I don't believe you, and I just looked him up. He's fucking Bedman. Saul Bedman. Fucking second. From what? Oh, from Exerd. Oh, wait! Are you talking about Saul Bad Guy? No, okay, so... I was about to say, if you fucking... If you look me dead in my eyes and you try to convince me that Saul Bad Guy is a twink, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. Okay, so... Um, there's a Game Grumps joke where, uh, where they call Spider-Man Saul Spider-Man. Yeah. Like, hello, I'm Saul Spider-Man. Yeah. Um... And so there's a character named Bedman in Exerd. Oh, so okay. I, I just call him Saul Bedman. <laughs> and he is a twink. I thought I was going to have to kill you. We could make a list of the twinks. Because there's Kyle Kisk. It's true. Kyle Kisk is a- well, he's a little buff to be a twink, I think. I think those are shoulder pads. <laughs> well, he needs to take the jacket off. If he takes the jacket off, then I can tell you for sure. Yeah. Um, Bedman is a twink. Um, Chip is a twonk. Yeah, Ch Chip's too buff. Um... Angie is all well, Angie's a twink in plus R in, in in accent core. Um I'm not going to comment on Bridget. Uh... And instead we will move on to a different character named Slayer. <laughs> well, I mean, the, the the question's easy to answer. Does Bri how does Bridget identify? Yeah. Bridget does that. Yeah, Bridget identifies as he him. Then Bridget's a twink. God. It's a term for it if you're a woman, but if if he identifies as man, then he's a twink. Dude, I fucking. Oh, whatever. Um, <laughs> I was fucking. 
I was, uh, what was it? I was talking with, with Keanu yesterday and I was like, what is your type? And she's like, uh, I like women that can bench press me. And oh, I'm like, okay. she has good taste. And I'm like, okay. Shows picture of Giovanni. Okay. Pretty good. And I'm like, what's your taste in men? And she's like, I don't really know. I mean, I like guys that aren't annoying and um, are cool and are tall. And I'm like, Nagori Yuki. And she's like, uh. I was about to say, and then she said, I like guys who aren't annoying. And you immediately slapped out a picture of Nag. Oh! Yeah, my favorite shit is just showing people Nago and them being like, uh, um, I, 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 uh, mm-hmm. uh. He Man, like, I can't, I cannot believe that Guilty Gear is is so heavily into NFTs. I... Nice fucking titties. It looks like I'm gonna die. Uh... No, you're good. No, because I'm hungry. Oh. God. Me too, dog. Belly is at like 12. Oh, what the shit was that? You pressed the fast forward button. No, there was a fast forward button. Please, 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 please. Oh, okay. Uh. Sour gummy. Orange Sour. gummy. Yellow gummy. <laughs> Clear gummy. Diamond gummy. Really was somewhat filled. Okay. If I have to just eat my gummies. Hungy. Hungy gummies. Cliff is an old man. Cliff is an old man. Cliff is an old man. You seen Venom? The movie? No, the the Guilty Gear. No. Hold on, I'll send you a picture of him. Oh my gosh, Wish Cat. Um... Venom. Wink. Okay. Good. He's also uh, canonically in a gay relationship with uh, <laughs> with Robokai's head. Uh. Hmm. Don't think yours weird. <laughs> so. So what happened was that Venom and Robokai were fighting Bedman, and um, they were both prepared to die, so they both sacrificed their lives, but they both survived. <laughs> so they're like, shit, what do we do? Yes, so, we make out. <laughs> no, so, at, so at the end of the game, uh, someone shows up and is like, hey, we're gonna, we're, I'm here from the Assassin's Guild, we're supposed to kill you guys. And Venom's like, no, uh, you can kill me, but don't harm the citizens of this city. And they're like, oh, okay, good good choice, buddy. So they give him a bunch of money, and so Venom and Robokai's head open up a bakery. Uh, what? <laughs> Guilty here's to whack. <laughs> it's awesome. It's so cool. I'm here for it. That's good, though. Good for them. Yeah. So we love to support, a, you support gay owned local businesses. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. I'd say Raven is too. T- Can you be too tall to be a twink? No, it's all body type. Okay. Well, then you will be the judge of this. It's, as far as I know, anyway. Don't take me as the arbiter. 
then who else would I take as the Arbiter? Uh, Yoon and or Dio. Okay. I see Yoon invented the concept of twinks. It's true. The primordial twink. Did he- listen, did Yoon invent them? No. Did he define what they are and revolutionize them? Yes. Yes. <laughs> mm. Oh, Jim Sparkling. Uh, oh, look over there. It's a giant gym. It's a giant rock. <laughs> a big rock. A gym. It's a rock. I've never, seen, never seen a gym this huge. This is an incredible treasure. Everyone will be amazed if we take this back. Nope, it's not budging. It's really stuck tight. Can you give it a try? I am a chicken. I do not have arms. And I will not have arms for quite a number of levels yet. Yo, Tangela. Well, I can't just give up. If I try hard enough, we'll probably get some kind of result. I'm gonna give it another go. Punch it. Uh oh. <laughs> it's happening again. It's a blackout. Who could that be? It's Wigglytuff. Oh my god. <laughs> Get fucked, Wigglytuff. Can't believe Wigglytuff <laughs> is fucking dead. <laughs> Wigglytuff found dead in Miami. Do you get me? Did I just witness a snuff film? Hell yeah. <laughs> the best kind of snuff film. A Pokemon game. <laughs> Uh So Big Mac is asking uh Heaton if you've heard of SCP-297, which I'm not thinking is a Isn't that Steely Dan, the vibrator? Is it? I am not familiar with that one. I can look it up in a minute. Soul's a twink. Oh, I see the waist on this man. This man's a twink. Yeah. Okay, can't pull it out. <laughs> just happened to push the gigantic gym. Uh oh. That's. What's going on? It's a flood. <laughs> the three of us found dead in Miami. Oh! It's a little spring. Oh, where are we? Hi, hi. Are you two okay? You plopped down from nowhere. You startled everyone. We're all very hey, clearly I like startled. How, I love how Tangela is just on the fucking like, side there. Where are we? Angela slammed headfirst into the rocks and now has brain damage. <laughs> this is the hot spring. Hot spring? Oh no, actually, Avi, do you want to read? Hmm? Um. Oh. <laughs> indeed, this is the hot spring. The hot spring works wonders on tired muscles and creaky joints. Many Pokemon visit here. Tell me, youngster. Have you a nap? Map? Fuck. Map? Oh, you mean our wonder map? Yeah, we have one. Unfold it for me. I'd like to... see it. There. <laughs> we are here. This is the hot springs location. Oh, I see. Waterfall is here, so... Hey, check this out. Water carried us all the way over here. 
That's whack, fuckers. My goodness, it was the water that carried you all this way. What a long journey that must have been. It wasn't just a fade to black or something. Let the hot spring wash away your fatigue before you make your way home. Good idea. I'll do that. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, anyway, in order to be in the hot spring, you must be naked. Well, we are Pokemon. I am a chicken. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Behind the waterfall, there is a cave. In the deepest part of the cave, there is a gigantic gym. When you pushed on the gym, it triggered a trap of some kind. And surprisingly, you two were flushed off to the distant hot spring? Is that the gist of your report? Yeah. It's really disappointing that we couldn't bring the gym back. <laughs> no, 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 no. Empathetic, er, empathetically, no. Uh, this is a no. major discovery. Uh, thank you. No problem. <laughs> really? Undoubtedly. After all, the presence of, uh, of the cave behind the waterfall. No one knew about that before now. I see. We made a discovery. Uh, what about Wigglytuff? I have those dizzy spells. The shadow of that Pokemon I saw. We already established. We just fucking dead. Hell yeah, good shit, good shit, good shit right there, right there, if I do say so myself. That shape. I've seen that shape before. There's no mistaking it. <laughs> <laughs> Staring into your soul! Oh, oh my god, god, that's... <laughs> that sprite's bad! <laughs> I love that sprite so much! <laughs> Just seeing it come out of the Just seeing it come out of the shadows was great! <laughs> he emerged. <laughs> That's awful! <laughs> Your waterfall discovery is just amazing. The guildmaster must be told. What's wrong? You're saying Wigglytuff may have been at the waterfall before? No, no, no. No. That's inconceivable. If that were so, the guildmaster wouldn't have ordered you to investigate the place, right? Hmm. However, since you insist, I will confirm it with the guildmaster. But I wonder why they would want to spoil their own discovery. How strange. Good clip. <laughs> I should be used to it by now. These apprentices are yet another strange crew, aren't they? What was that, Chad? Ah, huh? no, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Anyway, I'll confirm what you told me at the Guildmaster. Please wait here. So how'd it go? When I asked the guildmaster, he mulled it over for a bit, and then he said, Ah, oh, memories. Sweet memories. Then he danced around a bit. And then he said, Yes, yes, when I think hard, maybe I did go there once. And that's just what the guildmaster said. Somehow, it's just as Susie suspected. He has indeed already been at the waterfall cave. Oh, okay. That's kind of disappointing. I really thought we'd discovered a new place. I wish Wiggly Tuff had told us right from the start. The Guildmaster can be rather, uh, erratic at times. Even I qu can't quite fathom what goes on in his head. Ugh, oh, that's too bad for you. Nevertheless, I shall expect your best effort tomorrow. Uh. Well, thanks for that waste of time, Wiggly Tuff. You fucking thanks, psycho. <laughs> Today was exhausting. I should get to sleep early. We went through a lot today. But you know what? It was incredibly fun for me. Sure, there was that huge letdown. But it was our first exploration. I thought I was going to explode from the excitement and anticipation the whole time. It made me realize I made the right decision in joining an exploration team. One day, I'm sure I'll solve the secret of my relic fragment. Oh yes, your rock. 
That's the dream I have. If it ever came true, it sure, I'd surely faint from sheer happiness. It is a rock. It is a rock. Much as I, I am a chicken. <laughs> yeah. But seriously, thanks. I can explore because of you. I'm the biggest chicken around. No, 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 no. I'm How dare you? <laughs> How, How fucking dare you, dare you? I even managed to work up the courage. And it was all because you were with me. Seriously, thanks. How dare you? I am a chicken. Oh, yeah. You know, I was thinking. I noticed something about your dizzy spells. You always seem to be touching something when they happen. Come to think of it, Sparky's right. When I heard Azura scream... And that other time... When we were exploring the waterfall cave... It's true. It always was after touching something. That's when I got those dizzy spells. So when I touched something, it was grass. something connected to it, right? There's one more thing. When you rescued Azuru, you had a vision of the future. But this time, you saw Wigglytuff going into the cave, right? So that means... This time you saw an event that occurred in the past. That's true. In other words, if you touch something, you can see its past or future. You must have that kind of special ability. This could be something totally incredible. You could use it in lots of ways. Not just for exploring either, the ability could be useful for many things. It's fantastic. Well, I guess that's true. But that doesn't mean I always get a vision every time I touch something. It'd be useful if I could have visions when I wanted, but... Hey, you two. The Guildmaster wants to see you right away. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Guildmaster, I've brought you Team B. Guildmaster? Guildmaster? <laughs> God, oh, I hate this. The oh, the fucking picture is an Eddie Manor! <laughs> Hi! Hey, uh, hey. Your team went through a lot today. Yes, a lot, lot. But don't worry, I'm keeping a watch on your activity. I should tell you why I called you here. We're planning to mount a full expedition soon. An expedition. Please don't don't have me involved in that expedition. <laughs> I I um I I um I'm I'm I I I'm I'm too small for that. <laughs> yes, the guild will go explore someplace far away. It's much harder than exploring our nearby area. That's why we needed to prepare you for the big trip properly. We carefully chose which guild members go on expedition. Really? Usually, we would never, ever consider rookies to be expedition members. But you two are working so very hard. That's why we're making a special exception this time. We decided to include you in the list of candidates for the exposition expedition. Really? No, no. You haven't been chosen as expedition members yet. There's still time before we set out the expedition. If you fail to do good work before then, you cannot expect to be selected for the expedition. I'm sure you two can do it. Try hard. Yeah. Expedition, isn't it fantastic? My heart is pounding all of a sudden. Let's try our best to make sure we picked for the expedition. Okay. I'm a chicken. <laughs> Team Skull! What? <laughs> what do you mean we're in we were Gen 7? Them. Oh, 
Oh yeah, did I forget to mention Mystery Dungeon did first. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your contribution, Sarah Dust. <laughs> also, hey Sarah. No, he left. <laughs> Fair enough. As I was explaining, there's a lake far to the east. There are many aspects of that lake that remain mysterious. We hope to unravel those mysteries. And so our guild is planning to mount an expedition for the first time in a while. You do? Oh. An expedition, you say? Yes! Please! Yes, sorry! It's been a long time since we went on an expedition! And that means you're gonna be picking members for the expedition from all of us again, right? Precisely. We will depart in several days. Over the next few days, we will choose the most worthy apprentices. The chosen members will form the expedition party. Everyone, work hard so that you may be chosen for the expedition. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting! Yup, yup! I've yet to go on an expedition! I would surely love to go this time! Let's work at it and get picked as members. Alright, everyone. It's back to work as usual. <laughs> Look, Hi, let's go and let's be new cows. I'm gonna do my best. I'll get picked, I promise. I'll work really hard. So if any of us to work on the jobs list on the bulletin board, we'll try to do as many jobs as we can. And they'll have to pick us for the expedition party. Wait. Those Pokemon. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> you two. A duo. Wait, haven't we seen them before? <laughs> Don't think you're so awesome. Your victory was a fluke. Yeah, just you remember that. I remember. They're those two crooks who told, stole my relic fragment. What are they doing here? <laughs> I'll have you know that we're an exploration team too. <laughs> What's so funny about an exploration team checking out the job bulletin board? You're an exploration team? Uh, that's right. No, we, uh, the way we operate isn't always, uh, by the book. But <laughs> what a surprise. Why would you be here? We wanted to become exploration team members. That's why we're training at this guild. You want to become a real deal exploration team member? You, come with us for a second. Uh -oh. Um... No, don't take what I'm about to say the wrong way. Uh, you should just forget about being on the exploration team. What? Why? Well, you're timid, you scare easy. A scaredy cat like you can't cut it on the exploration team. But... It's true that I'm timid. That's why I'm training, so I can overcome my own shortcomings. Right now, I'm working hard to be picked for the guild's expedition. What well, expedition you say? <laughs> well, effort only gets you so far. You won't be picked for the expedition party if you don't have real talent, right? All comes down to talent. Big talk. You sure talk a lot about talent, but what kind of skills do you have? You are so weak, we even beat you. <laughs> well, we didn't have the chief with us. L plus ratio plus no bitches. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Team Skull, our exploration team, has three members. Our chief is L plus talented. type disadvantage. To put it bluntly, he's brutally tough. If the chief were around, he'd snap you like a twig. Speaking of the chief, I can smell him coming now. Smell? With what nose? Oh. Oh, can can I? Can I? I got a I got a voice. I I have one too, but go for it. Move out of the way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> oh. Ugh, it reeks like rotten cheese. That's foul. Yes, sirree. Hey, hey, my eyes are burning. I'm dying. I'm a I'm a ghost. I can't smell. Move it! Do you want to end up like that wimp over there? 
No, no. Chief? You showed them, Chief. You're the best. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So you two, do you sniff out any jobs that'll bring in the cash? The job bulletin board only posts cheap checks, but... There's something else, Chief. It's got the potential to go big. What? An expedition from this guild? That does sound tasty. Doesn't it? Tasty. Let's get out of here. We need to do some plotting. Come on, we're going. We gotta do some reconnaissance. Gotta do some reconnaissance, bada bing! <laughs> what are you all staring at? This isn't a public performance. <laughs> See you around, wimps. Re record re re I can't re believe you're fucking dead, Sam! <laughs> are you okay? No, I am a chicken and I'm dead. <laughs> no, I'm a chicken. And I'm dead. Sure was rough, though. I kinda worked up the courage to challenge him to his face. Even though he hurt you, I'm ashamed of myself. You're right, I'm a wimp. A big chip. You are not <laughs> a chicken! I'm a chicken! How dare you! <laughs> you fuck. Make barking noises- make him. barking noises at him. I really am a wimp. It's nothing new for me. I've decided that I can still do my best even if I'm not very brave. I'm not gonna give up over something like this. I'm gonna be cheerful and keep trying. For now, we better keep working with what we've been doing. Today we're supposed to handle the jobs on the bulletin board and the outlaw notice board. Let's keep at it. I am a chicken. Another in the beach cave. Oh my god, there's so much in the beach cave. Beach cave. Alpha chicken. Dead spicy chicken. And the omega chicken. I am the alpha and omega chicken. Now somebody needs to draw it. Virgil as a torchic. Oh. Uh -huh. Actually, oh no, I don't have time to do this. Let's go back down. What in the Sam hell is that? Fucking mom! Bingus bangus! Bing bang! Fuck your life! <laughs> Bing bang! Fuck your life! You see these Arcanine in your yard? Just know upstairs I'm going hard! Bing bang! <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to tell the guildmaster right now? What's up, baby? Take me out to dinner! Hey yo! Bing bang! <laughs> anyway... Uh, so that's all for today's stream. Tomorrow... Uh, tomorrow's Tuesday, so it's We Happy Few. Um, oh, good. My f favorite game. Uh, uh, later, guys. Whoa! <laughs>